Hey, I'm Dr. Alan Partridge, Adobe eLearning Evangelist. I wanted to show you one of the cool new features that's available to subscription and ASA customers now uh, in the new Captivate update. Uh, check this out. I'm in Captivate and I'm going to do a typical screen capture. So I'll record a new software simulation. I can do this with any kind of screen recording that involves audio. Now notice there's something new here. I'm going to choose uh, application region. I'll just choose this section of the screen here in the middle. And then I want to go down here to the bottom and note that little button right there. I can actually check and include system audio now. So when I click on system audio, it will record not just my microphone, but also any audio that plays on the system itself. I'll hit the record button and get the standard 321 prompt. Now I can take this particular application, which happens to be something that I built with the new drag and drop interaction, and I'll drag my items over and drop them in place. You can see here that I can create something as complex even as the periodic table of elements uh, just by using a drag and drop solution and create a great opportunity for people to go in and test their skills. Um, once I'm done with that, I can go back into Captivate. So now back inside of Captivate, I'm going to go ahead and edit the audio for this particular slide. I'll go ahead and click on the slide and then choose audio and edit audio and I'll pull that up and whoa, look at that, something new. I have my voiceover track and I have the system audio. You can see there, I've got both at the same time and as I listen to the playback, I can hear that the playback on this channel, the narration channel, is a little bit softer than I'd like it to be compared to the audio on the system audio track. No worries, all I have to do is click on this little button here and you can see that I can temporarily remove one track or the other from the audio editing and then I'm free to go in and work on that track just as I normally would. Adjust the volume for example, move that volume up so that I've now got some more uh, volume there. And if I wanna conversely do it the opposite way, I just click so, and look at that. I can go in there and suppress the volume on this one if I want to. And before I know it, lickety split, I've got the system audio balanced with my voiceover so that I get exactly the experience that I was hoping for. Uh, for my end use case. So really simple to do, really straightforward. Remember just to click to enable or disable any one of those channels so that you can have the information that you needed to be able to edit them separately and then export them just as you would normally.